Hey boys and girls, this is Mr. Reeves here. I wanted to go over today's assignment. In the Nearpod, we went over uh, the three branches of government. We also see in the Nearpod the rights and responsibilities of the citizens of Mississippi. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to complete this Venn diagram. Now, a Venn diagram, as you can see, is two circles that overlap in the middle. So we use Venn diagrams to compare and contrast different things. So we want to compare our rights to our responsibilities as citizens. Now, this Venn diagram has an answer bank at the bottom. There are nine terms that you will use to place in the Venn diagram. Now, there is one term that is both a right and a responsibility. Now, what this means is um, your rights, those are things that are guaranteed to you and me and any American citizen in the Constitution. These are things that we are guaranteed. Most of our freedoms are considered rights. Now, a responsibility, on the other hand, those are things that we should do as a good citizen. So there are four things that we should do as a citizen. And there are four rights that we have that are guaranteed to us in the Constitution as a citizen. But one of those things is both a right and a responsibility. So let's take a look at our choices here. We have freedom of speech, freedom of religion, fair trial. That means if we are accused of committing a crime, we are guaranteed a fair trial in front of a judge to defend ourselves. Um, we also have paying taxes, obeying laws, and voting. Now, we talked about voting. If we don't like how our lawmakers are working, when it's time to reelect them, we can vote for new lawmakers and leaders in our government. We also have freedom of press, serving on a jury. That means if uh, you are a registered voter, you are required to serve as a jury member if the court needs you. So if someone else has committed a crime and they need you to listen and help decide if that person is guilty or innocent, then that would be serving on a jury. And finally, being an informed citizen. That means understanding the rules, the laws, knowing what's going on with the government, being ready to make a vote that would best benefit your country, your state, and your town. So let's start putting these things where they go. Now, one thing you might can recall is a right is a freedom. So we've kind of got a, a given there. Anything that is a freedom, those are listed as rights. So what we do is we click on the text box here. And I'm going to use a 24-point font. That's going to give my words a nice size. And so I want to start right here. The first right that we are guaranteed is freedom of speech. That means you have the right to voice your opinion. If you don't like the way things are going, you can let lawmakers know. You can let the president know. You can let the governor know that you don't agree with the, how things are being done. All right. The second right that I'm looking for, another give me, is freedom of religion. That means you are free to go to whichever church you want to, whichever religion, Catholic, Baptist, uh, Muslim, Jewish, uh, Hindu, whatever religion you choose to follow, the government cannot stop you from worshiping um, however religion you choose. Okay, now fair trial. Again, that is a right. We have the right to a fair trial. If you are accused of committing a crime, they can't just lock you up without sending you to court and letting you plead your case. You have to be able to provide evidence. All right, now let's see here. Paying taxes. Now paying taxes is not something that people enjoy doing, but it does make us a good citizen. Paying taxes, that is how our government works. So that would be a responsibility. Um, 
taxes is what pays for many things that we we get from the government a lot of government jobs buildings schools are paid for through taxes and so paying your taxes taxes is a responsibility of a good citizen all right let's take a look obeying the law now we don't always like obeying laws sometimes laws don't seem to be fun but that does make us a good citizen obeying the law one law that people don't seem to like to obey is the speed limit it's fun to go fast but those laws are there for a reason to keep us safe so even though it's not a law that you are that you enjoy following it does make you a responsible citizen now voting voting is considered both a right and a responsibility you have the right to vote when you are old enough you get to choose the lawmakers in your community in your state and so by voting you're showing that you have the right but you're also exercising your responsibility that means you are a good citizen it is your job to help pick our leaders once you are old enough all right so the last three we have freedom of the press again there's another give me it's a freedom it's a right freedom of press that means that newspapers are able to tell what's going on in the world the news can tell about what's going on in the government our leaders can't can't hide what they're doing the newspapers the news can let the citizens know so that leaves us our last two serving on a jury again that's not something a lot of people look forward to doing but it does make you a responsible citizen if you are needed you should serve on a jury and finally being an informed citizen knowing what's going on in your community in your country in your state and you need to be informed so that when you do vote you make the best choice all right so understanding the laws understanding the constitution if by voting you are being a responsible citizen so here is a quick look at our rights and responsibilities as citizens of mississippi so we have our freedom of speech freedom of religion freedom our right to a fair trial and freedom of press voting is both a right and a responsibility that's why we put it in the middle and paying taxes obeying the law serving on a jury and being an informed citizen are all responsibilities that we have as citizens now i hope you uh, take the time to watch this video so it will help you get all of these right and so um when i take a look at it and grade it we'll all be happy okay See you next time.